What's going on, everybody? The original Mako back with some roguelike Wednesdays today. And obviously, this is week two of the Monster Train section of Roguelike Wednesday. So I'm going to be giving it more of a full review and giving it like an overall rating and kind of how I've enjoyed everything in it so far. And let me tell you, this one's going to be pretty good. So uh, let's just hop into it. We will do a uh, normal run here. As you can see, no save run right now. We're just starting fresh from scratch. Actually, let's do a... Uh, Let's do this. Oh. Oh. Uh, I, oh, wait, wait, wait. That sounds... In, oh, I'm always up for a challenge. So I don't have all the clans unlocked yet. I'll kind of show you guys the progress I've made here. So here we are. I have, I'm have i at Covenant rank 3. I've got 4 wins. Uh, that's my highest score. Highest win streaks. Only 1, unfortunately. But... Um, these are all the artifacts I've unlocked. There's still obviously a ton to go. Uh, we have a lot of these. Here's our clan progress. We just unlocked Umbra, which is kind of a cool clan. We have two champions for each of these. Uh, these are our four wins and what, what um, I guess, clans we were using in the wins. And these gold cards are the cards we have mastered. So if you win a run, whatever card's in your deck, if they're not mastered, they become mastered. If they are already if they're already mastered, then nothing changes. So let's go ahead and, and, and give myself a challenge here, right? Because why not? Um, um, okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't need to rush through that. I thought I did. I'm excited to kind of see how this works, honestly. I don't know, I've never done something like this before. What 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 Awoken and Stingengard. I actually know both of those. That's massive. Is it only one other player? Or can there be like up to four or something? Because it says one here. That just makes me think that there could be multiple. Those are the only two options. I guess that makes sense. All right, so I'll probably just cut this out and we will come back when I have found a match. Okay, so we are back and we have somebody here, Zab, who we are gonna be playing against. And um, so it says the game starts in about 40 seconds. I still can't get these yet, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to pick those once it begins uh but yeah this uh this should be interesting i probably should have been figuring out which ways i want to go i think i'll start on this side and then probably go for the artifact and stitching banner and maybe the unstable vortex i don't know i'm just gonna wing it right first time for everything might as well just wing it so we'll see what happens here oh why is it taking so long um 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 uh 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 alright let's go shall we Um, I did kind of panic on the, uh, 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 uh. I should have given Frostbite to the guy in second spot. That's okay, though. Um, 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 uh. Uh, 
Wait, wait, there's a countdown timer. How does... Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um... So how does that work? Does that mean we can't move on until that timer's over, or what? Oh, okay, so you can't move on until the timer's over. That makes it interesting. So you don't have to go, like, super, super fast. You have to go fast, but you don't have to, like, rush. I wonder how, I don't know. I'm interested to see how the rest of the, the scoring works on it. But um, we'll find that out, I suppose. So quick, other friendly units on the same floor gain quick. Okay. Three times. All right. Just want to make sure I know my deck a little bit more, right? Probably a good idea. It is very interesting how they did this. Like, a game like Slay the Spire obviously doesn't have any multiplayer. You can compete on the leaderboard, but there's no real-time multiplayer like this. So it's kind of cool, although I wish it was a little bit different. Um, no, let's just go. Let's leave it at that, and let's start the second battle. We've got three minutes. Um, let's just keep what we got. And he's going to get quick attack, which means we are in a very, very good spot. Um, I mean, shoot, it doesn't even matter. Um, I do want to give everything some attack, though. Oh, wait, I might as well just in case we need them. Uh, everything's dead, so let's just end the turn. No reason not to. Uh, four tag and spikes for... Let's do the preserved thorns. I think that's probably the best. And we'll do a spell weakness. I like that. Look at it. Look at me. Quick on the draw. Uh, okay, so we're going to go this side. We're going to get an artifact, a Stingian unit... And have this random little thing happen here. So, all right, all right. I think I'm gonna cut out this waiting part for each one, at least for the ones after the first one. So, I will see you guys when round three is about to start. All right, so round three is about to start. He somehow got more points than me there. I don't know how exactly that happened, but it did. So here we are. <laughs> um, spikes tuned. I guess we'll do that. I don't really have any spike synergies going. Um, let's do that, actually. That seems interesting. Never used that card before, so. Time for the boss round. Explosives have damage shield. Not ideal, for sure. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get some stings. That's gonna die. Oh, oh, there.
Um. go and the final wave oh boy we're only into 158 that's not great considering we have like two enemies or two things left um He's only going to take 36? Oh. Woo! Thank you, Spell Weakness. So, one turn boss rush. I don't... I feel like he's going to be way ahead of me in points now. I don't know. Um... I will take that. Yeah, he's at 7k! How the hell? I don't know how that works. I really don't. It doesn't seem like that should be the case, and yet... It is the case, you know? Alright, we'll see how this side goes. I just... I don't know. I don't... He's like over a thousand higher than me is it because of the boss Ugh. so for each turn like the quicker you kill the boss the better but i killed the first boss in one turn and he still ended up with more points than me so i don't know how that works <laughs> i'm confused but Confusion didn't kill the cat. Curiosity killed the cat. So, as long as the cat's still alive, we've still got a chance. Maybe he'll get beat by one of the bosses, and then it doesn't even matter how high his score was, right? All right, so we'll remove up to two cards. Let's remove one of the stewards. I need to keep the rest for now, and we'll remove one of the uh, we'll remove the ensnare because I don't want it. Let's go ahead and duplicate our preserved thorns. And what are our options? So add three sting spells to your hand and every time you need that. Or multi-strike. We'll give it multi-strike, I think. Quick and multi-strike's a good little combo. Um, no. Maybe turning those on gives more, um, more, uh, whatchamacallit. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay. Wish we would have discarded the other card, but that's fine. Huh. Two attack. I need that to die as bad as it sounds. Actually, hold up. Wait. We'll get all those into my draw pile for sure. Give him some regen. Then we'll do that. The more stings I have, the better everything is. We're killing everything at a pretty fast pace here.
Alright, we're doing a lot of damage. Three hundred ninety-two. He's only gonna have three health left, which is kind of unfortunate. Because I mean, obviously, if we could have killed him last turn, we probably would have gotten more points. Maybe you get bonus for turning on the modifiers. I don't know. Maybe I have to start turning on the modifiers. That might be a move. Um, we'll do that. Oh, uh, he's just, he is cranking along. Uh, okay, so do I want, I think I want to upgrade my units a little bit. So we'll go this way. I just don't know. All right, we'll be back when the next round is about to start. All right, and here we are with the next round. So let's Merchant of Steel to start with. And let's give this guy the upgraded health, because that seems like the best option. Uh, we'll also give him spikes. Seems like a good idea. <clears throat> we'll give that to him. And the 10 attack we'll give to the quick. And actually we'll give him multi-strike. Make it even better. All right, perfect. Uh, let's remove one of those. Lowers our chances of drawing it and one of those. We have sweep going on, that's a little bit less necessary. I'm gonna just turn this on. Um, you know, maybe it'll get more points. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so that's not great. Uh, but we are going to have a lot of sting spells here, which is nice. Um, okay, so now we have this, which is what we want, and we also now have this there, which is what we want. Um, I kind of want to ice tornado this, do that, and then I don't think doing the crystalline seeds up there is worth it, so let's just go with what we've got. Spell neat weakness one. That was kind of a nice little play, I think. Okay, so we have three stings. That's going to be dead. That's going to be weak. We're doing pretty good here, I think. Uh, sting for the extra card draw. Um, two attack, two attack. We're only doing 132. <clears throat> well, that's not good. Okay. Okay, the life steal's gone now though. How much are we doing here? Two fifty? Okay, okay, okay. I can I can do that. We got a lot of stings. Three oh two, that's a lot. That's almost the rest of it. <laughs> Plus with all the frostbite stacks, this should be a kill. Okay. I'm down 3,000. Okay, so you do get bonus for a trial. That's so tough. Friendly unit is healed. Deal damage to the front. Oh, it's okay, but that's not great. Oh. 
Ah, I don't really like uh, our chances here, if I'm being honest. I need like an artifact to get me out of this or something. I don't know. I'm down three. Th well, I guess it's only about two thousand, but still. <laughs> I didn't know turning on trials made made a fifty percent difference. I probably would have been doing that from the start, but here we are, right? All of our chances going down the drain as we speak. All right, so coins, artifact. So I deal thirty damage. That's not bad. We'll upgrade that, and we really can't upgrade anything else. So let's just move on. Uh, we can't turn on a trial here, so the goal is to just try to kill this boss as quick as possible. Um, okay, so here we are. Okay. Um, we'll put the sweeper here. We'll put quick strike there. We will consume. Thing, deal some dam deal some damage. Apply some frostbite. Put our other steward there. Get it out of the draw. Uh, let's ice tornado. Uh, just apply that for some reason. Let's get the rest of the stings going, shall we? Okay. Um. Okay. He's only going to take 81, so I need to do at least one of those. That seemed like a good time for that. Let's apply Spell Weakness 1 and then use that Ice Tornado. We're starting to scrape off the health a little bit, which is good. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and use all of our stings. Let's use the vine grasp. We actually should be able to do everything here. Oh, ow, whatever. It doesn't matter anyway. All right, final wave. Is he dead? No, we're at 501. Uh, let's apply, well, let's do that, and then let's apply the frostbite, okay, three more damage, and we'll give two more attack, we're going to do a lot of damage here, not quite enough, but a lot, hopefully we can get 337, so we should be able to Uh, we should be able to get into kill range here, I think. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Twenty <sighs> percent. Uh, he's just gonna have so many, so much more points. <laughs> That's not a bad card. So even more ember per turn. I think that's the move. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's trinkets. Let's go this way. I can get hopefully a decent trinket or two, a random event, 
and remove more cards from the library to make it even better. <sighs> wait, he hasn't beaten the last round yet. Wait, wait, he hasn't beaten it yet. Wait, that's huge. He's only got 16 seconds. Did we do it? Have we done it? We might have done it. Five. Oh, this is huge right now. Wait, he just beat it. Yes! Yes! Oh, and it just looked like we had no chance. We did it. Do I not get anything for that? Oh, wait. I got... I get points for remaining coins. <gasps> Let's go then. Wait, can I see? Like, does it show those stats somewhere? It has to show those, right? Oh, I don't think. What? Why wouldn't it show that? Does it show it here? It does. Hell rush. And it'll show that I won. Rank number one. Let's go then. All right. Well, GG. <laughs> uh, there's an example of the hell rush multiplayer mode. Uh, kind of cool. We, we took home the trophy. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So, yeah. This game, uh, I'd probably give it a, out of 10 rating, like an 8. It's got a lot of content. I think it's just better than Slay the Spider. There's a lot more strategy involved. There's a lot more content in it, I think. And the whole clans thing, choosing a, a main one and your like support clan is kind of is really cool. And all the clans so far have had their own unique abilities and very obvious ways to use them in a respect with other clans. So I think it's just really good. All around a good game. The soundtrack is okay. Um... It's, it's decent. The art style's pretty good. Uh, the replayability is through the roof high. So this game's amazing. Uh, I would highly recommend checking it out on Steam if you haven't before. If you're into deck building games, absolutely give it a try. But yeah, uh, next week on Wednesday, we'll be trying another roguelike. So leave your comments down below for different ones you want to see me try. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I love your faces. And I will catch you guys in the next one.